Good morning, drumming community. Bart Elliott here. It's Monday, September 16th. Hope everyone had a great weekend. On the drum calendar today, we've got Sonny Emery giving a drum clinic. He's going to be at the Guitar Center up in Madison, Wisconsin today. This is a free drum clinic. You need to check out Sonny Emery if you can. In fact, all this week, Sonny is giving drum clinics across the Midwest. He's in Madison tonight. He'll be at Vic's Drum Shop in Chicago, Illinois. That's a $5 cover charge to get into that. You need to go see Sonny. He is an incredible drummer. Um, although he's pretty much a household name, I think he's underrated. The guy has some serious chops. And to see him work out on a practice pad is quite the feat. He, he's just really a great player. You can hear a lot of his... Uh, playing with Earth, Wind, and Fire from a number of years ago, but you need to check him out if you can. Also, uh, just calendar-wise, as far as birthdays go, Kenny Jones, who is a UK drummer, he turned 65 years old today. If you're not familiar with Kenny, back in uh, 65 to 69, he was in a group called Small Faces. Uh, I did some research about the name. A couple of the guys in the band were small guys, hence the small faces. Uh, they left the band, so they reformed and just called the band Faces. <laughs> and that was 69 to 75. And then when Keith Moon passed away back in 1978, Kenny uh, Jones actually took over with The Who, and he played with them from 1979 to 1982. So happy birthday to you, Kenny. And I also want to mention that Kenny was inducted to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame last year in 2012. Uh, and that was for his work with uh, Small Faces and Faces, to which he was a founding member. Also, just a couple of other items. Um, it works Drum Closet today, uh, tomorrow in Nashville, Tennessee. Todd Trent from Tide Drums will be there, and it's going to be their snare drum day where they bring in a lot of unique one-off drums, some prototypes, things like that. So if you're in around the area, uh, Todd will be there throughout the day uh, until the store closes. I think it'll run until 6 or 7 o'clock, so you've got time to get up to Forks Drum Closet even if you got the day job thing happening. Uh, also want to mention about the Speaking of Nashville and Forest Drum Closet, Masters of the Trade is going to be an event on October 3rd. I'll be there. I'll be filming. We're thinking about streaming a portion of it live, so if you can't make it, you can check it out. But this is to support Forks Drum Closet and uh, people such as Kurt Walter from the Joyful Noise Drum Company, uh, Kelly Brady of uh, the Brady Drum Company, and Ron Dunnett of Dunnett Classic Drums, and Jorway. Jorway. George Way uh, drums will be there as well as a lot of celebrity drummers. Uh, Chris McHugh is going to be there. Um, Greg Morrow, who is a fantastic player, probably under the radar for a lot of you guys, but he does tons of sessions. Great, great player. Super nice guy. Shannon Forrest, another great player, is going to be there as well as a lot of other people. And I'll be there for whatever it's worth. So, uh, yeah, right. That might be reasons not to come. Uh, I hope I do hope to see you all there. It's going to be a great event, and you can find out more about this at the Drummer Cafe, as well as lots of clinics going on this month and events. Be sure to check out the Drummer Cafe calendar every week, even though I'm blasting this out with this vlog and Facebook and Twitter and, of course, the calendar on the site. Uh, you need to be checking out that calendar on a weekly basis if you want to not miss any events. Uh, one other thing I'll mention. What are you doing? It's my dog. What are you doing, my dog? They can't see you. Here, I'm going to tip it down. Maybe they can see you. There you are. That's Mitt. Yeah, Mitt the Border Collie. Are you running around? Well, there you go. See, we, we have special guests from time to time. He's looking at me thinking I'm talking to him. He's looking for commands. He's a work dog. Uh, I want to mention Terry Bozio is actually going to be um, in Pittsburgh. Not Pittsburgh. I'm sorry. Let me get this straight. The, uh, it was a new town for me. I didn't... Uh, 
Pittston, Pennsylvania. It is so St. Joseph's Joseph Morel Morel Morello. It's not Morello Morello Hall. There's a link on it on uh, the Twitter page. Anyway, he's going to be performing tonight there. I don't know what the cost is, but you can see that I posted that on Twitter. I don't normally put performances on the uh, calendar because there'd be way too many. So we just do educational clinics and things like that and free events. All right, one other little funny item, and then we're going to cut you loose for today. The Foles. And I'm guessing that's the right name to say it, because I'm really, even though they've been around since 2008, it's a UK band, I'm, it's an indie rock band from the UK, I'm really not up on them uh, that much. But they've got uh, a third album out now, and supposedly doing fairly well. But there was a headline, and again, uh, I may put this through on Twitter or something, but Foles drummer Jack Bavon spent his summer in a village in Sardis eating lobster and dining on other fine foods and is worried his eating habits may damage his rock and roll image. <laughs> I'm sorry, man, but I just think that's nuts. Sorry, Jack, but... You guys, if it's, if it's what you eat is determining people's view of you... Please, I, what more can I say? I think it's ludicrous, very stupid. But it got you on the news. There you go. Good luck to you. I'll probably post that silly article. I think that's going to be it for today. I've got a meeting at 10 o'clock with Liz Ficalora. She's written a book I think you might, some of you may be familiar with about making easy, quick drum charts. And so she's, uh, she and I are gonna meet at 10 o'clock today to discuss maybe her putting some content on Drummer Cafe. That's about it. Thought I would share that, don't know why, but I did. And now you know the rest of the story. All right, you all have a great day. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see ya manana.